Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Escape from SPTAKI. In other words, uh, welcome to Tarkov, if it was more like Stalker. I really do want to see more mods that kind of marry the two. There is actually a mod that adds the sounds of the uh, characters from Stalker, the... Uh, the people from NPCs and such from that game to the, to the voice lines of Tarkov. And so you can actually make it more like it in that way, uh, which is pretty interesting. Go ahead and fix this gun up so it's not as likely to break on us. We're probably not going to hold on to this for too long. We're going to be using it to get some kills. We're going back to reserve again because we're going to keep, we're going to basically try and snowball. We've gotten some good amount of equipment. Which is great. Uh, we're going to try and get a little more. And maybe try and find our Salewas. So we can uh, progress that quest. B maybe find a nice long range weapon before we head back to woods. I would love to kill Sturman. Now that would be fun. If we can get Sturman and uh, potentially get an SVD. That's a solid gun. Alrighty. Here we go. Boop. The button I use for pausing and unpausing my recordings and such uh, also appears to be one of the buttons used in uh, one of the controls in this. I can disable the keyboard shortcuts, uh, but I kind of need it for some stuff. Keypad plus, add waypoint. Yeah, see, that's what it's doing. So we need to change that to uh, something. We're not going to use this while I'm playing this. Shooting at things I saw that looked vaguely person shaped <laughs> was not a person or anything, though. This office is a good place to find meds. Gotta keep looking in. Need that. I think that's all the crickets we needed. We already had two, I believe. Behind me. I cannot see shit very well. Wish I had a flashlight on this gun. Be 
PPO, level 10. We aren't going to take every backpack we see this time around. Nice. An impact grenade is always good to have. I'm not lo noticing a lot of loose loot lying around. in the water. I'm back into that hallway. Fuck. The scav screaming in the corner or whatever in the other room got me. And then there was raiders crouched in that room. There's multiple. That sucks. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have pushed in there like that. Should have taken it a little more carefully or thrown some grenades in, you know. Cleared things a little bit. Would have been a good idea to close one of the doors and throw a grenade in. Did I forget to take that off of me from last raid? I think I did. All right. Let's use that. We're not going to bring anything else. Should be a little bit brighter now. Let's get right back into it. There we go. Raining. Oh, you know what I don't have? Ear protection. So I'm gonna be deaf the second I shoot this gun. That scared me. Anyone else jump? Can't see any shit down here.
actually harder to see down here right now. That is definitely Raiders. BPMCs too. some lights on in here, shall we? shooting going on back here whenever I... They're shooting. Now they're gone.
Oh, wow, what thrilling commentary. I know, sorry. <laughs> I'm in such deep focus that I've stopped communicating. I took his legs off. <laughs> oh yeah, another feature about uh, realism. If you hit someone in the arms, you can disarm them, knocking their gun out of their ar arms. That's uh, disabled on us, uh, because that would suck, but the same thing can happen with uh, getting hit in the legs. <laughs> just shot me. But whatever they're using is shit. Where the hell did I get shot from, though? I guess we haven't talked about stances or ready positions yet. We have low ready, high ready, point aim, and I forget what that one is. <laughs> you also have bracing, where if you aim while your gun is pressed against something like this, you don't, you'll notice my arm stamina is not draining. And in fact, it will actually regenerate whilst I'm doing that.
I don't know, I think we might have got him. What about you? Someone is 100% on wood below me or near me. Yeah, fall damage is a lot less forgiving now. Jumping out that window would actually hurt my legs fairly badly. actually knows my arms are forced into the low ready position. That is because my arm has been taken out. Oh my gosh. Really? Uh, I need to stop getting so aggressive there. So many PMCs actually insane. There weren't any raiders there. 366 FMJ to the torso. Yeah, He had a full one of those stupid fully automatic VPOs, I bet. Those things are a bit ridiculous. Like, VPOs are pretty... are a nice gun. They shouldn't be fully automatic. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, let's roll it again. Uh, we could try going somewhere else. Well, we can't go woods, really. Customs is an option, but I don't really like customs. Interchange is Sweat City. Well, why don't we do a little factory run, you know? Just to try and kill some, <laughs> some scavs and PMCs in, over here for a moment. This one loads really fast. No editing. That was just load it loading. It's a great one to just get into. Switch that to full auto. Oh shit, there's one down there. Gonna need some meds.
I am now down a leg. his head did my bullets just ricochet off the a shattered face mask with no that has no armor on it i just got unlucky there well yeah t it's head an sks with t whatever well as long as we're under level five this is free basically so we keep going try again maybe go factory again but this time we uh we go real risky well, we still can. I'm talking... That's my loadout. We're gonna get deafened again, but that's fine. Alright, and we're back into it. Maybe we'll run into Tagilla. I killed Tagilla using a pistol one time. <laughs> because bosses don't have the absurd health, uh, I just dumped a mag into his stomach, and it... <laughs> I got him. He nearly killed me, though. How many... I thought he was done there. How many bullets does he have in that gun? Jeez. Kind of freaked me out. I didn't hear him at all until I was uh, right on him. So my aim went all crazy. <laughs> uh, no. Didn't mean to hit that button. <laughs> I don't know what kind of gun I just ran myself into, but that was that was, that was was a bad one. Editor, remove that. I'm not going to. Again. I got pistols to burn. And there's not much better use for them than this. Because <laughs> if you think you can win most firefights without a pi with a pistol uh, on most maps, you're going to have yourself a bad time. Especially using shitty PS Pro ammo. Or... Saw his ass. That's a hell of a sight to have.
like a laser beam. This thing has like no fucking sight picture. It's like here's a block, aim in the middle of it. <laughs> Holy shit, this thing sucks. <laughs> And we're out. We are out of everything. There is... each other, please. Give me back my pistol. How many Oh, that sucked. <laughs> he was already coughing and wheezing like he was about to die, and then I put, like, four rounds in his chest right there, and he just taps me in the thorax, and I'm dead. Because one round of T-45 just fucks me there. That was sad. Every one we, every one we killed had just that sh trash. <laughs> the fucking A... God, that pistol is ass. <laughs> not, not even this one. The other one. That was is the real killer. There, like, holy crap, that was bad. Uh, but I had more luck with this. <laughs> uh, nope. There we go. Try again. Try again. We have not had a single success so far. Some of it was due to my own greed, I'll be I'll admit.
Easy fry! What a gun. PM5, I have no idea what caliber that PM5 is. Is that the thermal site? That's the Tory Pines thermal site. What the fuck? <laughs> this guy just comes in here with this? Well, look at that shit. <laughs> It looks better because I actually have a mod that uh, makes thermal the thermal sites better because it makes them more real like their real world counterparts less grainy in some ways. They actually have the correct refresh rate and everything. Mags sucks. channel for that left.
That's a slug. Still fine. You took way more bullets than you should have.
Yeah. Okay. Well, finally, we had a success. A couple of PMCs and a whole lot of scabs. Still free, because we haven't broken to level six yet. That's probably the last free healing we're going to get, though. Got ourselves our 3M armor, so that's good. New VPO. The crowbar, which is a better melee weapon. Does way more, though, to carry it. It has another added benefit, however, uh, that we'll see later. Little Chiapa. The bang bang. The crappiest pistol ever. Seriously, this thing is so bad. Cool thing about these uh, glasses, it costs nothing to repair with from mechanic because they're normally not able to be repaired. They don't really do much though. They cause some blunt damage reduction and they're completely unclassified armor, so they don't stop much. And we got, of course, the thermal on the MP5K. The absolutely absurd build. Do have one of these shotguns now, thanks to that. But we can just buy some from Jaeger later. Okay. Not exactly worthwhile. You know, it might be kind of fun. You know, actually, we take, uh, that off. These aren't very good pen slugs. These ones don't have particularly good pen either, but they are better than the alternative. These are just good damage. They don't have much pen. That might be kind of fun to mess around with. Minus 15% accuracy. It's like, I can't see very well, but I got a thermal sight, so... <laughs> uh... I think that this shotgun also had a... Yeah, it has a mount for flashlights. It just didn't have one. So I think we can get a flashlight from someone. Oh, hey, night vision. Is he also selling the mounting part that I need? Currently? No. But we might as well buy it while we can. And then we can get the uh, mount part later. There's also the 
third piece that's needed from here, and he is selling one of those right now. So that's two of the parts needed. The last one we can't seem to get right now. We need the uh, PNVT dovetail mount. So we'll see if that becomes available at some point. Oh yeah, I wanted to see if I can get a flashlight. Get any flashlights? You know, actually it'll be easier if I just do this. This works. Do a nighttime reserve run with this <laughs> kit. <laughs> I'm sure this won't turn poorly for us. Nighttime with a thermal shotgun and a uh, and a flashlight and a dream. The good thing about nighttime is the AI also has a trouble seeing us thanks to the uh, mod. The that's lit mod, making things of lighting actually matter. So we might have difficulty seeing, but so will they. Hey, but we have a thermal, though, so uh, we got the advantage in that situation. that picture. <laughs> We're not going to discuss what just happened there. <laughs> Loading up the slugs right now. I think they're inside of the little guard building here. I may not be able to see them very well, but it seems to be working for us. Oh, hey, the Taz we need. It's cool for later. Are those bullets getting shot at me? Hey, some bullet was past me because my vision's getting all blurry. Augmentin has multiple uses now. It's a proper pill bottle instead of just a single pill in a bottle. This is a weird one, as far as I was concerned, too. Express. Decent pen, decent damage. I saw some movement there. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Instantly ran over and blasted me. No hesitation, no blinding by the light. Yeah, that's the thing. The flashlights can blind things, but they also can attract AI. And I clearly attracted that one, and then it just instantly killed me. I, got, I took a Paliva slug to the head and the arm. 
It's they fired two shots, one in my arm and one straight into my head. Wow. Wow, that sucked. <laughs> well, we were kind of screwing around with that one. It was not a very good gun. Perhaps that uh, is better suited to being used with something like this. Hmm. We can go ahead and stick a flashlight on to this as well. First mags lit up with a good ammo. <laughs> Feels so much more comfortable down below inside the underground. This isn't a bad spawn, at least we are not exposed. We got that flashlight BB.
Well, that was close. PMC with a Taz. Another SKS. Good ammo, too. That thing basically deafens me. I'm not really a fan of having that um Can't run in the water. Can't run in the water. It's only one of them, there was multiple. Propital is huge. Take that out of there and put that into there. That's trash. Six A armor, that's actually good. Better than the armor I'm wearing on this thing, which is only five A.
It's the Fan and Raid ones that are good. Who's this one? Is this one FMJ? That's T45M. That one's FMJ. That's T45M. This one's T45, but it's not full. And this one is also FMJ. Alright, the L2 are not important. None of these skets, none of these raiders have had ears on. You have ears? No, seriously? So at least you have some nice uh, stuff. I am deaf. Gear protection, finally. long to fix the bleeds. Oh my fuck. Scared the shit out of me. Another fucking PMC. Is that? He has mounts on his headgear, but no actual thing.
that. Hmm. thing about the whole low ready high ready thing if you turn on your flashlights not worth it not fucking worth it saying, when you aim when you're uh, using the whole high ready, low ready thing, it automatically turns on the flashlights if, you've had, if you had them on. Or you can turn them off and then they won't turn on. So your lights aren't on whenever you're in low ready, automatically. open. Nothing spawned down here. Alright. Time to get out. audio broke. There's no sound. <laughs> this is a good armor. Protects the uh, side, stomach, thorax. Protects the whole torso. It's a good armor. Class 5 armor, too. No more free healing. Actually, that one's free still. What do you know? Nice. That should be the end of our free healing, though. Well, this one was a bit of a rough start. Things were pretty going pretty poorly for us, but we got lucky and we managed to get to the point where we actually weren't doing too poorly anymore. Got a whole bunch of stuff. New headset. This uh, is a pretty solid body armor right there. 
tons of SKS mags to go with our new SKS. I'm just going to keep it on me, actually, because I might as well use this in the next one. Put that away. Mags for that can also go away. Put away those mags, though. I don't want the FMJ ammo either. Alrighty. Put that away there. Bring that there. Extra meds. Propotol is always nice to have. One of my the things I usually carry on me is a propotol. Put that in there, actually. Don't need this many grenades, but we will bring a couple. Can repair this with mechanic. 25k, but now it's full. Another 16k to get the helmet nice and full. These should be free, though. I can't repair them. I guess that's their, uh... These ones can't be repaired. P20 and drawbridge are about pretty much the same. Here we go. Cleaned up. Nice and solid. All right. I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here. That was pretty good progress as far as getting some new equipment. We have a... Uh, we actually do have a gun that we could take to woods. We have a nice scope. We'd want, I feel like we'd want to stick that on an SKS, which I think we can get a mount for a SKS to put that on. Not on this one, though. This is a... Uh, this one can't use that mount. You can get the Tapco uh, chassis, but that doesn't really help us either. We need a... Uh, OPS gas or something similar. Which we can't quite get yet. I don't think you can mount a uh, larger scope on that front part. Yeah, no. Nah. That'll have to wait. Alright. Take off the extra flashlight. Use this one. Can only this one be mounted on the other side? Maybe. I see, I just have to stick it in that part. There you go. Alright. I'm I'm getting distracted. <laughs> I'll see y'all all in the next video, where we'll hopefully actually make some quest progress. We made some progress as far as our loot goes, but didn't do much otherwise. I'd love I love killing farming raiders for the equipment early on. It's good even on live, but the only issue is you have to deal with everyone else who wants to do the exact same thing. And <sighs> uh, here it's a little easier. It's still by no means a cakewalk. Those are some they are some pretty dangerous uh enemies. Even he especially now with their improved AI. But they are nonetheless still AI. I'll catch y'all later.